All right, we're back with K-Scale Paper Wars 101 uh, Compass Games. Axis Invasion of the U.S. Alternate History in 1945. And we are now starting turn four. And if we look at the invasions, the Japanese are in trouble. They are pinned to the coast. And they're beachhead hexed. So that's a problem for them. And then the Axis, well, this was probably not a good idea to drop their airborne army back here, at a <coughs> taking a shot at threatening the, um, the Manhattan Project here. Uh, the U.S. quickly moved to surround, so it's out of supply, halved on attack and defense. Um, so it's kind of stuck. Meanwhile, down here, yeah, it looks like... Uh, the U.S. is trying to pin the beachhead here. We'll see if it sticks. That's not as much firepower as we thought. <coughs> Battle for Savannah continues. Two attacks already, and uh, they still haven't taken it. The U.S. keeps reinforcing it. So, it's time to follow the sequence of play here and do turn four. And the first one is we do our air power then U.S. replacement, and then, well, a very important one, atomic bomb. <coughs> so let's do the airport roll, air power, excuse me, and we've got to um, immediately place it when the time comes. So let's just zoom in here. So for the west, here's the die rolls, and the west rolls a five. That's two air powers. Uh, let's see. To be honest, there's so uh, <coughs> well, we want the beachhead to be covered, so we'll put one here. We'll put one here. That pretty much does a good job of covering the area here. So they've got air power all in here. Then we roll for air power over here on the east coast. And survey so two. They only get one. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that hurts. They have to make a decision. Do they take a shot at an atomic bomb on this? And put this over here. Yeah, an atomic bomb over here increases the odds, but an atomic, I mean, but uh, air power over here increases the defense. <coughs> and there's no way to breach the two, bridge the two, so we'll put it here. Um, and that does defend our units, gets the beachhead. So that's it for that. Now we have the replacement phase. First number is west, second number is east. We'll see who gets to draw first. And it looks like the west gets the first draw. So let's pull this out of the way. And see what the west is going to do over here. <coughs> yep, there are dead units from last turn, so... Hmm... Yeah, don't need to put them as far away as Spokane anymore. Go here. That's it. Only one unit was eliminated last turn. So that's the replacement phase, and now, of course, we have the big moment. Um, they have two. Manhattan Project, yep. So on a 1-4, to four they get an atomic bomb, which you know where they're going to use it. No! Wow. I mean, if they had gotten it, they would have bombed here. No reinforcement, half defense. That could have been the end. But the Japanese dodged the bullet. Okay. Coming back here. They do get an atomic bomb. So the question is where to use it. And that's kind of a no-brainer. We would want to use it here. On, well, not two, but the beachhead. Because... While supply isn't an issue, they've got Charleston. It prevents reinforcements from coming in. Minimizes the number of reinforcements they can pull in. And it immobilizes these units, which could be helpful too. 
So we are going to take a look at the chart for that. And if we look at atomic, um, minus two automatic, but mar <coughs> we're in the range of an air power marker <coughs> and the target hex isn't rougher mountain and they can't bomb American cities. So <coughs> it's a straight minus two. Any result greater than two is an explosion. Oh my gosh, no, it's a dud. Two minus two is zero. Oh boy. Well, they had a big effect the first turn, but now <coughs> these atomic bombs are just uh, failing. So that takes us to the German player turn. Um, and the Germans have to choose combat or movement. Well, they're definitely going to choose combat because they can't move. <laughs> can't move from Zok to Zok, and the Americans have pinned them. So, and these guys are free, so they could do a momentum attack, maybe. Oh, I may have messed up. <coughs> Let's see, this will keep the game going with an American strategic blunder. These two attack here, and these two attack here, and that's about it. And we go from there. Yeah, I may have messed up, but let's see what we got here. 4 and 8 is 12. <coughs> 12 and 8 is 28 to 2. Oh, wow. They came up short. Oh, they could include this unit. 8 and 8 is 16. Well, maybe they'll do this attack first. That's what we'll do. Well, but I have to commit who's doing it. So where does that 2? Let's think about this. 8 and 8 is 16, 16 and 12 is 28, and if we throw in these two, it doesn't matter because this guy's got at least a two, so that's 26, so that's 25 column, and shift one because of air power, it's on the 20 column, die roll is one, well that's really, really dead, and it's the Anzacs. Maybe I shouldn't have put them there. These guys are permanently deleted. They don't come back. Now, here's where things get interesting. They can advance after combat with three units. So they're going to advance with um, this guy. And remember, they're doing a move first. Uh, how much did I have here? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 with a shift. I've got 8, 8, and 8. The most I can get is a plus 8. Let's go back and look at the chart. Yeah, plus 8 doesn't get me anything. The best I can do is a plus 5, but downshift to a 4. So, yeah, speaking of that, the most I can get is 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 12, 15, 16 is 8. So I'm three high. So, man, I gotta get this guy off of Charleston. Although it's not critical now. Do I have a four? Yeah, I do. Let's do that. And let's do that. Okay, and that gives us 24. 24 to 12, 15, 16 is 9. Oh, wait a minute, I could have gotten more. That's not right. 16. Can I get to 26? No, the best I can pull in is a 486, so that's the best I can do. So, that's it. And now it's time for the attack. And we'll see if they... I don't... There's too many steps here. They're not going to get through. 8 and 8 is 16, 16 and 4 is 20, 20 to, wow, no, that's the best I can do, bummer, 20 to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is 4, down to 3, ouch, is that the best I can do, yeah, that's it, both 8s are there, and Got to take the attack, momentum attack, and then it's move. We'll see. 
not very many places to move after this. Yep, 12, 12, and 4 is 16. 12 and 4 is 16. And I got plus 4. And that's a table, so I'll take it. 8 and 8 is 16 is 20. Yep, plus 4 down 1, plus 3, 5, 2. That wasn't very successful. Oh, this will flip this guy. And we'll flip this guy because I can. Okay, so that was a failed attack. I had no losses on them, so and then we're going to try and attack this guy. Oh boy. Ouch. <laughs> this is not working out. Um, but at least with this guy moved, this guy can move off of here and make room for reinforcements. So that's a good sign. 6, 7, 8, oh let's see what they got. 6, 7, 8, 8 and 5 is 13. And then they've got 20, 36, 38, 38 minus 13. It's 28 is 25 with a 2 shift down to 15. I think I did that right. 5, 7, 7, wait, let's see, I keep doing my math wrong here. 5 and 2 is 7, 7 and 6 is 13. So, I got 12 there, so I got s plus 7, plus 9, 9 and 16 is 25. Perfect. 25, 2 shift down. Let's see what that looks like. 25, TEC, yeah, 2 shift down. Goes to a 15. Ouch, 15 on 6. Again! Holy smoke! Holy smoke. They just cannot, for the life of them, take Savannah. And that was a 1 and a 1. Well, I'm not going to eliminate the 249. I don't, well, I get one elite, which I haven't been using, so I can do that. So let's, let's, well, I've already killed one elite over there. And this is tough. And then I've also got a weak infantry there. I've already done my elite there. So, and I'm not going to eliminate that, so I'm going to have to do one of these. Eight down to four. Oh, well, we'll probably fix that guy. All right, so that's the German combat. Now it's German move. Can't move Zock to Zock, so all these guys are stuck. The only one that can move is this guy, which he definitely does want to do. The question is, does he want to go here, or does he want to go there? You know, I could move him. I can move two units here, and then these guys are going to end. Then we're going to get reinforcements. Okay. Alright, so the Germans are holding on. They're just not taking that port. They're going nowhere. And so now, after that, we go to German replacement reinforcement. Um, and you got to be in supply to get it, but this guy supplies everything. So we are going to do our one elite. There we go, back at full strength. And then we need one regular. Actually, it's going to be this guy. Um, I want that thing at full strength. Okay. And then we can land up to six units, but actually we can only land five because that counts as one. And it's rather easy now. Here comes the German infantry. So they can land three on the beachhead and two here. And they still can't take Savannah. Oh! Oh, what was this guy going to do? Combat? No. Uh, <coughs> he'll only have a four, and that's probably suicidal at this point. Oh, let's see. He's out of supply. He's got a four. I don't know. Let's attack this guy, because if that happens, he's off to the races, potentially. Let's see what happens if I try and attack this guy with four. Oh, that's nice. I get a plus two. So, let's see what happens. Not good. Come on, man. 
three to the attacker. Holy smoke. Oh, Revenge of the English. One, two, three. Just made their life easier. This unit's not coming back. If he had succeeded, he could have... One, two, three, four, five... Could have tried to make his way back, but now he can't. The Beth, the British Expeditionary Force, kept him in place. So that's the end of the German turn. Um, still have not taken Savannah. But they are getting a lot of troops on the ground. Um, a lot of troops. So... And they've got Charleston. That's the difference. All right, so now we have to look at the U.S. All right, U.S. turn here. Um, what are they going to do? Well, they are going to get rid of the airborne threat. This guy's... that doesn't really matter. It's concentric no matter what. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can go all the way here. So these guys are going to finish off him. It's a move and attack, obviously. Sorry, I didn't declare that. This is a bit tougher. Okay. Going to take a chance here. That there's just too many Germans appearing. But we're going to move this guy down. Ouch. The danger there is that if they attack out and they win, I've got no defense, but... Maybe I can pull the four guy out. Let's do this. If we move here, these two. That's 12. 24. 32. Okay, 32, but I'm going to get a two shift for concentric. 32 to 16 is 16 with a two shift. That takes me up here. I could get all the way to 20 and get the max if I left this guy here. But then what I'm worried about is, is if the Germans <coughs> attack this guy, then they've got an open run. And I was thinking of pulling this guy around to block that. But now they can also keep attacking this way. Star, these guys may have to do something. Yeah, I'm going to leave them. Going to live on the edge. And then we got Savannah. It's down to 11. Um, Atlanta. This guy's bad news. He's in trouble. They're going to blow through here. If they decide to go that way. Um, but if he goes up this way, what's the problem? And we need these guys for sure. So... That guy can be a speed bump, and this guy still covers it. But now we're weak over here. And I got nobody else. Hmm. I can marshal a lot of firepower here. Ah, I gotta take the lower odds and put this guy here. This guy is a speed bump. These two still cover things. These guys all are my second line, and then these guys can move up. So... I think that's it. All right, let's do the one attack. Nice. First armored. Not nice. Eh. All right, uh... Got two attacks. Let's do this one first. Half defense down to two. We got eight, ten, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen to two is twelve with a two shift for concentric. And yeah, just so you know, concentric attack or three hexes. That's definitely concentric. So, like I said, we got fourteen minus two is twelve with the two shift. So we're at 10, we're at 20. 20 on 2, that's a, that's a kill. Yes, and the German Airborne is gone forever. Okay, and now we can do Advance After Combat. 
and there's no worry now about there's no worry about Germans invading here so let's bring these guys together okay that's good then we have the attack here this is also concentric with another shift so this is a three shift so I got 12 and 12 is 24 32 minus 16 is 16 with three shift 15 with one two three yes we're on the plus 30 so it's good we pulled that four two nine out it's the last column a one. Oh, that is so awesome eight that means these units this is the only way to take down the German advantage these units are both dead and I can do advance after combat. The question is, do I really want to do? Is there anything to be gained? I'm definitely not going to do a momentum attack. So that's good. Yep, that's it for the Americans. <coughs> so pretty successful here. Savannah held. The airborne threat is gone. And they just killed off two armies. That's good. That is good. So let's come over here now, and it's the Japanese phase. Um, move combat or combat move? Uh, wow. <laughs> There's nowhere to move. There's Zox everywhere. So, But I can do combat and maybe just a probing attack to get off... I don't know if they're going to even try and attack. Everything's covered by air power. That's a shift. So, um, uh, let's see what we're going to do here. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a probing attack just to get them off. What a probing attack is, is basically you can advance. Now, the advantage of it is I can then follow it up with a momentum attack. And if I did do this, that would be 3 times 7 is, can you believe that, 21 minus 12. That's 8, 9. 9, but uh, got 2 shift back. 1 for the rough, 9 with a 2 shift. That's 5. It comes down to 3. That doesn't look good. So basically all the Japanese can do is, oops, do the probing attack which puts them there. No follow-up momentum attack. Yeah, that's even more. And that's too much, too, to attack, especially with air power all here. And then they can land reinforcements. One, two, three. And they were lucky the atomic bomb didn't come. And that's the best the Japanese can do. And now this would force the Americans in their turn to have to attack three times six. 18. Um, but it's concentric. They don't have it. They can do it. Um, we got some more horsepower here. I'm not worried about them breaking out. We can go to max stack. Let's see how much we have. Yeah, they're going to do that. Let's see what we got down here. Yep, we got some big units. So they've got. Uh, 18 and to get to 30 we got to get well we don't need to get to 30 we just need to get to three shifts away we need to get to 15 so got to get to plus 15 and the shifts will do the rest uh, 21 18 and 15 is 33 did I do that right yeah, 33. So 33 is a magic number. Let's see how much we have right now. 6 and 6 is 12. 12 and 5 is 17. So 17 and 8 is 25. 25 and 12 is 37. 37, of, it's all there. Uh, but I could make a big stack for a follow-on Whoa, that's tempting. I got to get a stack of six really big units. And that would be here. One, two, three, four. So this guy will move up. Five. Um, and uh, 
I'll send this guy too. Okay, he'll go here. And um, so these guys then can do a momentum attack. So I'm setting these guys up for a momentum follow on attack on the beachhead, the one two punch. So they've definitely got uh, over 30 with the shifts concentric, air power, three shift. And the air power is right there. Um, we could even bring more units in. Let's find out what these units are. That's what I can do here. That's my only purpose. Nice. Um, actually, I'll find out by putting them here. Don't want them to become an easy target. All right, so here we go. We are, this is a plus 30. I mean, this is a 30 column. I don't even have to do the math because they've got three shifts. Uh, one shift one shift for air power, two for concentric. So three shifts, 30 column. Uh, they may not win. No, they didn't. Oh, five. They did not win. Too bad. They needed to get six. That's two, four, five and that ends it for the Americans so yeah and the stacks they're adjacent to are relatively that's a wimpy stack but that's a good stack that's a good stack and this unit okay so that's the end of the phase there so this is just kind of like coming out to the meat grinder here <coughs> they'll have to do that next turn but then they can only add two units or maybe they'll move over here. Move two up and two over. Okay. So that is the U.S. phase. Um, yeah, the Japanese are trying to get off the beachhead. It's not working. Uh, we'll leave. Well, now the air power markers go back. We're in the admin phase. So here we go. Let's put this one back. I'm missing one. This one. Oh, I probably borrowed it from the other one. Okay, and then we'll come over here, and we'll move this one back, and uh, that's a wrap. Kind of sum things up here. <coughs> well, the Germans are still a threat, um, but all these reinforcements, hopefully, maybe. Uh, well, you got the eight, the first armored, but hopefully, these reinforcements will be enough to contain them. And they did succeed in killing off three or two German infantry armies here. So we'll see. And the beachhead is effectively pinned. So they're <coughs> going to have to do another attack momentum. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one could do an attack. And then that would be the end of it. And then it could move. but And then it would hit zones of control again. <coughs> so should they get Savannah, which is now held up three turns? or I don't know. Their beachhead's pretty crowded, too. And they're not going to get one of these, so the U.S. will get an atomic bomb here every turn. This doesn't look good over there with the Germans. And the Japanese aren't doing that much better here, so we'll see. I may have to replay this again with what I learned to see if we can actually get the Axis on the beach. All right, well, that's the end of this one. 29 minutes, 30 minutes. That was turn four. Case Geld. Uh, again, the U.S. is really putting the screws on their beachheads, and they're causing attrition, too. Um, these units, once they're dead, they're dead. They don't come back. So that's the other thing you worry about with the Axis. They have so many units. If these can all get ashore safely, they're going to be hard-pressed to stop this kind of juggernaut. Same with the Germans. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for listening. Click like if you like. Comments appreciated. And please subscribe. See you at turn five.